Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks of November. I already did one for November, but it's time to do another one. So let's just see what comes up for the first two weeks of November for Leo. We're going to start right here. November 1st through the 14th, what do we have for Leo? Choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen and to appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside of you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. So this is about all the choices. You look at all those doors. You have multiple options. You choose. You choose which door you go through. You choose what path you go down. Okay? So you, this is about making a big choice in these next two weeks. Uh, it looks like through one door, there's a lot of... Um, well, that's light. And light is health. Okay? Light is warm. It's a happy place. It's vibrancy okay but you have to choose to go through that door so there's there's some sort of choice that you need to make and it's interesting because I just looked at the bottom and, and I don't know why self-sabotage I'm gonna go ahead and read it when you learn to get out of your own way there will be no stopping you most of the time it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals it's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans so I feel like you that's what's going on. You're you've been sabotaging sabotaging yourself through the choices that you make. You got to remember when you walk through somebody's door, whether it's your own door or it's somebody else's door, you pick up their energy. You take on their energy. Just keep that in mind. So what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? First two weeks of November. Cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. So you need to do you need to do a cleansing, and that's not just cleansing your soul. It's a cleansing. Well, it's cleansing of everything. Your Facebook, for real, okay. Uh, your friends, uh, what you eat, what's in your house. You know, you need to go. You need to remove energy. I know this is about energy. Light is energy as well. This has to do with energy around you, okay? You need to do a serious cleansing of the energy, okay? For example, you have stuff, this is just an example, I don't know why I need to tell you this, but apparently I do. Say you, you have something of your exes, and you're not with them, you don't have any feelings for them, but you're still holding on to that thing because it has some sort of materialistic value to you. Get rid of it. That's energy. Anyway, we're going to read that card, Cleansing Waters, because we are. Look at her. Look at the look on her face. That's funny. She looks familiar, doesn't she? To achieve fulfillment, purify yourself in your surroundings. Space clear your environment. Clean out clutter in order to release old beliefs, stagnant energies, and auric grunge that you may have picked up. It's necessary to cleanse and purify yourself in your home. Let go of the old, discarded, and unused. Eat lightly, drink fresh water, and simplify your life. Shower or bathe with the intention that all is that all that is not needed is washing away. 
When you purify yourself, you become a clearer channel for light. And I see the light. It's like the light wants to come in. But you have too much clutter and you have too much energy around you. You do. When you purify yourself, you become a clearer channel for light and thus know what direction is best for your life. Also, your sparkling light can help heal and support many. So I feel like you really need to do a cleansing and, and don't hold back. Get rid of it. Get rid of it all. Get rid of anything that you don't... That is not energy that you need to have. It was your ex's. Your ex gave it to you. Bye-bye. See ya. Dumpster. It's food that weighs you down. Bye-bye. It's friends that gossip and have negative energy around them. Goodbye. That, you know, say mean, nasty things about people. See ya. That's bad energy. It's bad juju. Anyway. What do we got for Leo? You will feel so much relief when you finally do it. It's about closing doors. Once you close doors, new ones open. So what do we have for Leo the next two weeks? Eight of Swords, trapped. Okay, this is in mental turmoil. Uh, some sort of confinement, restrict, restriction. Um, needing to go someplace it's like you need to move on from something because you see there's six swords here there's two on the ground but there's there's a painful choice that needs to be made you're choosing not to you're staying in a situation that you need to remove yourself from but because you haven't you just haven't found the strength to do so you're staying in a troubled situation and it is it is definitely a mindset Okay, you have you have the capability to break free of whatever this is that is confining you, that is restricting you, that is causing you so much mental turmoil, but you're just choosing not to. Okay, you're letting yourself be bound by a situation. Choosing not to see as well. You're wearing a mask over your eyes when you wear it. That's like, oh, I'm just going to pretend that everything is okay. Open your eyes, please. You have, your feet aren't bound. You can go in another direction. You have to choose to do so. Strength. That's your card. You have, you have the capability. You are a very strong individual. All you have to do is master your emotions. Take control. Have courage. You know, maybe, I mean, this card can also mean enjoying power. You know, enjoying the attention. This is a card of ego. And that will trigger you guys, but it is. And if you let your ego, you love all the attention that you're getting. If the energy is bad, it'll make you sick. Strength. Interesting, we got... We got uh, it's a time of abundance. Okay? The time is now. When you see eights, the time is now. Go ahead. It's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone. It's time for you to do something you've never done. You need to be brave. You need to be fearless. You need to have courage. You do. You need to have courage to turn your back on things. It's like you do. You it's like you have you can't take care of everybody. Which is interesting. 
I feel like you're in some state of despair, you know? I do. Hmm. Seven of Swords Reverse. That makes sense. Seven of Swords Reverse is needing to find a new approach. There's outdated thinking here. You need to let go. You need to let go of something. Maybe it's ego. <laughs> Just being honest with you. You know, well, a lot of you ain't going to be like, oh, I don't have an ego. <laughs> That's a fucking joke. I'm sorry. We all got an ego. Anyhow, the Seven of Swords reversed is cowardly behavior. Okay, it's ignoring advice, not listening, turning a blind eye. Needing to find a new approach, but refusing to listen. <laughs> this is no backbone. You need to find your backbone. This is almost like sh um, not wanting responsibility, you know? I'd rather just lay here and look pretty and, you know, do nothing and be at ease than take responsibility and take ownership and do what I need to do. I'm just going to pretend that everything is okay when everything is not okay. There's something going on behind the scenes. This is a warning that has been ignored. You've chosen to ignore it. You have. It's almost like I'm not afraid. I don't have to listen. There's no fear here, right? I'm not afraid. I don't I don't I don't have to listen. Somebody has ignored a warning. And I think it's coming back to haunt them with that seven of swords reversed. Getting caught. Somebody's going to be getting caught. Four of cups. Page of pentacles reversed. So this is definitely somebody who doesn't have a backbone. Now, this could be somebody that you're dealing with as well if it's not you. So we got somebody that has no moral backbone. They don't. This is a dead end. This is somebody who doesn't have the drive, doesn't want to do, doesn't want to listen, doesn't want to follow any plans, doesn't uh, want to put in any effort. You know, wants to have the reward, but doesn't want to work for it. Uh, it's almost like laziness. Uh, so we got somebody here that needs to put in more effort. They need to find their strength. They do. And their ambition and their drive to put in more effort. But they're not. Which is interesting. And the Four of Cups is discontent. Uh, missing an opportunity. Somebody is too busy. Uh, what the hell are they focusing on? These people are trying. They're, they're, they're so busy. Uh, trying to make things look pretty that they're missing an opportunity that they're missing some something about pretty trying to be pretty that they're missing something mm -hmm. This this uh, this page of Pentacles reverse this is a dead end because somebody's not putting in effort Okay, this is lack of commitment. This is dropping out. This is also lacking common sense Okay, unhealthy. Somebody that is unhealthy, they're not interested. They're not interested in listening to anybody's advice. It may, you know, I choose not to. I choose not to listen. We have somebody here that is choosing not to listen to, to anybody. It feels like they, they got a lot of friends because Three of Cups is friends. Their friends are... Or maybe guiding them in the wrong direction as well. Because there, somebody is missing an opportunity for love. But this is like about something about friends getting in the way. Hmm. 
Now, this is something about getting caught. Getting caught with something. Not putting in effort. That Seven of Swords, that is running away as well when the going gets tough. It's cowardly behavior. Turning a blind eye. We definitely have somebody here that is turning a blind eye. Oh, oh we had a card fall. It is the King of Swords in the upright. It is in the upright. So the King of Swords is a decision maker. This person is in a position of authority. Could be a person in law enforcement, person from the military, a judge, a director, somebody in a professional position, maybe a legal position. Uh, this could be protection services. Um, this person is making a choice, making a decision, has some information, knows the truth. Um, it could be a judge. I don't know who this is. I don't know if it is a judge making a decision. Somebody's going to be making a decision. And they're going to be going on facts. They're not going to, it's not about the feelings, it's about the facts. There is some challenging information that is coming. King of Swords is making a decision. This person is is uh, a professional. It's a professional of some sort. It looks like it's a very uh, direct. It's he's very direct. Uh, you're going to be saying something that, that is uh, very matter of fact. That seven of swords reversed. That is deception. Lie. Somebody's been lying. They've been lying about their stability or something like that. The page of pentacles in reverse is not stable. There's lack of, it's unhealthy. There's somebody here that is unhealthy. I don't know what it is. There's something blocking you as well. Standing in the way of achieving your goals. There's something standing in the way of achieving your goals. Um, there's there's also somebody here that has become very lazy. You know, it, and I see laziness. It's like they're lazy. They don't, they don't want to change. They don't want to do anything. Um, there's a need to focus. Somebody keeps getting distracted. They've lost sight of their goal. Somebody's lost sight of their goal, but there's a, there's a, this is a new perspective. Okay, a new perspective is coming. It is coming. Somebody has missed an opportunity or they have ignored. They may have ignored it. They just didn't care about it. They didn't care. It looks like it's you. I just got to be honest with you. It looks, it does look like it's you. You need to find your strength. You do. You need to find your strength to get out of a situation that you're in. And I'm not exactly sure what this situation is. What is this situation that you are in? You're trapped in it. But you're choosing to be trapped in it. You're choosing to. It's like you do know. You do know that there's another choice. I see that you, because you're looking right at it. You know that there's another choice, but you're not choosing it. You're not choosing it because you don't want responsibility or you don't, uh, you don't want to change or you're just lazy. No offense. No offense. Um, it's like you see another opportunity. It's just you just don't have the ambition or the drive or something like that. Six of Pentacles, receiving something. King of Wands, taking action. Emperor reversed, angry, upset. Uh, deserts, I don't know if you're dealing with a father. We have all these men here. Maybe there's a father that has deserted you. 
Somebody may have be deserting you in your time of need. You could have somebody here that is belittling you as well. They have belittled you. Um, that for that emperor reverse is an individual. There's some sort of illegal dealings here as well. Um, King of Wands, that is somebody that is given to take action. They get this vision and they do it. Somebody in protective. Feels like there's there's protection here. But if you if you you know, there could be somebody that is around you that is in protective services or in uh corrections. I don't know what's going on here. Um What the hell? We do have a King of Wands that sees something. He is about to uh, He's about to do something. He's about to do something, but I'm not sure. It's like, I don't think it's a. I, <sighs> somebody's about to get what they deserve, whatever that means to you, because that Six of Wands is about deserving, about getting what you deserve. This is about generosity. I feel like you're going to be getting an offer from somebody, okay? And I, I don't know what this offer is. I think it's a fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, probably an Aries. You may be getting an offer from somebody. Um, this is something that can help you. This is a solid offer. Can help to bring balance back to your life. But it feels like you will it will require you to do something and you won't be able to be lazy. No offense. No offense. I'm just that's I mean it's like you, there's like no desire here. You need to you need, you're going to have to get up. Okay? You're going to have to get up and you're going to have to do it. Whatever that means. Um now, the emperor in reversed is not taking responsibility, not interested in helping. This is, a, this is a criminal activity, somebody doing something for their own good. This is an individual that is power hungry, that is very, very controlling and entitled, is on the wrong side of the law. So this person, um, This person is losing their power or something, or they're trying to control a situation. The uh, Emperor Reverse is somebody that tries to control things. Um, definitely, definitely with that King of Wands, we have somebody here that wants to control an outcome. Very forceful, very controlling, but doesn't really want to put in effort to change something, which is weird. It's really weird. It's like they want to be in control. They want to be the boss, but they don't want to put in effort. So that's interesting. <laughs> you are going to be given an opportunity of some sort. It's an opportunity that It's a very, it's a very good opportunity. It is. It's a good opportunity. I think whatever it is, you should take it. But it feels like you don't want the responsibility. You don't want this responsibility. And something could be taken away with that six of six of pentacles. It could be given to somebody else. Okay, it could because that's about give and take. You know. We have a, you need to find your strength. You really need to find your strength. There's, there's a, there, you do. You need to find your strength to break free from something that is keeping you trapped. Something. It's mental turmoil. You do. You need to. You need to. You need to pick yourself up. You need to open your eyes. You need to. You need to get moving. You need to get moving. I don't know what the hell you're doing, but you need to get moving. You're missing opportunities. You're missing opportunities. And it's like you're ignoring any advice. It's like, I don't have to. Well, fine. You don't have to. But then you're going to lose. You're going to lose something. It's like it's going to be given to somebody else. Whatever that means. Uh, I don't know if it's a job or what it is. Um, now, 
Now, the, the seven of swords reversed is somebody that can't face the consequences. You know, so I'm, not, I'm wondering if, you know, there's some sort of consequences coming. For not putting in effort, because that page of pentacles reverse is not putting in effort. It's losing sight of the goal, just being lazy. I'm sorry. Uh, Eight of swords. Trapped. Not seeing. Choosing not to see what you have. You're, it's almost like you're choosing not to see what you have. You have so much. You ha you're going to be getting an offer, okay, with that six of pentacles. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's professional advice. I don't know. I feel like there's legal, something to do with legal here. Legal, I don't know what it is. But I feel like I ha or this person is in a legal per profession, you know, whoever you're dealing with. Maybe there's an opportunity to sign a new contract with somebody. Whatever it is, I feel like you're going to be getting an opportunity that... Or somebody else is. Somebody's just not interested. They're not interested in putting in effort. And they could lose. Okay, they could lose. They could lose to somebody else. There's. This is like... I mean, that, that Emperor Reverse, that's like... Uh, not interested again not interested somebody is not interested in helping they are somebody is not interested in helping you have to help yourself you do you nobody's going to help you you have to help yourself whatever that means in these next two weeks you need to make a choice to step outside of your comfort zone pick yourself up Free yourself from something. You are definitely tied to something that you should not be tied to. But you're going to have to find your strength to break free from it. And I feel like, I feel like you, you haven't been able to do that. There's definitely illegal, illegal activities here as well. And consequences for illegal activities. So somebody may be... You know, I'm hearing from a lawyer or somebody in protective services. I don't freaking know. One more card. We're almost out of time here. I think you've been discontent. You've been really, really brooding, you know. You, you've uh, brooding. You've been brooding over something, and it's time for you to, to move on from it. Okay, but that, like I said, the six of swords. Time for you to move on from it. There's an opportunity here. You have to move on. Maybe it's about moving. Maybe, maybe there's an opportunity to move. Maybe you get an opportunity to move this week. <laughs> Chariot reverse. Now that would upright would be about moving, but reversed is. Uh, Lack of control, lack of discipline, discipline, emotions all over the place, not going anywhere, angry, lack of direction, something coming to a dead stop, no movement. You know, I feel like we have somebody here. I don't know if there's an accident. There could be an accident. I don't know. Um, but the chariot reverse is something coming to a stop. There's no, somebody cannot find their discipline. There's a lack of discipline. There's a lack of willpower. There's a lack of goals. You need to find your mental strength that you have lost. Okay? I don't know where it is, but you better find it. So the next two weeks, I feel like you're going to be very emotional. I think it's going to be an emotional 
I mean, that chariot reverse is emotional, extremely emotional time. Good luck.